Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you episode 4 of this emblem tutorial for Black Ops 2 related to Football Club and their badges. So, up on screen, we're going to have uh, Chelsea now, and that's because a subscriber requested to see Chelsea and how I would have a go in at creating it. I'm not sure if anyone else on YouTube has created the Chelsea uh, logo and the badge. So, uh, this is my sort of my try here. I did uh, use the hollow circle there, uh, the one that's next to the full circle, and that's to reduce the number of layers that you originally had when I originally created it. It took me around half an hour. Uh, just looking at a picture of uh, Google Images and um, it was sort of a bit confusing but then I went and uh, created it a second time which took a bit less and that's because I was just playing around with different uh, different circles and sort of just changing them about. I was going to originally make for the uh, golden bit inside a hollow circle and um, well sort of changed it to the outline of a full circle and then I just changed it around and just said I'm just going to use it, the back layer but um, here you can see me putting a football club in the bottom and that's because I want to get all the uh, letters in on the logo because that sort of makes the f logo stand out as to um, what it's actually about and uh, just cloning them over and uh, putting them in so that they're all the same size and not going to be in, pro in proportion to one another um, we've got I think trading comes out tomorrow which is absolutely a great episode in my opinion it was only a couple hours of trading at the same time um, the results from it was great but um, if you guys would like to see other Black Ops 2 emblems, I have got a few Pokemon ones um, which I have made. And um, if you'd like to see other stuff like Mario, uh, Batman, whatnot, all this sort of stuff, um, do check out my friend. Uh, he does do this sort of thing. It's called the Art Community. I'll ask him to leave a comment down below so you guys can see. He does uh, spend a lot of time on his emblems. And um, yeah, his emblems are quite great. So do check him out. But here you'll see. Um, getting Chelsea put in at the top and uh, just all cloning it all over. I want them to all uh, look fairly decently apart at the same time uh, sort of getting it um, accurate because I believe on the badge it was like 45 degrees um, was the uh, point of where the C started and then the L is directly uh, at the center of the top and then um, just adding in the rest of the, um, the SEA so finishing that bit off and then uh, this is the most complex part of the whole emblem and that's why I was sitting there for quite a while originally just thinking what to do and um, I decided you know let's go for it so I went and picked up I think it's the kernel here and uh, what I do is make it into the blue reverse it and turn it upside down and then I'm gonna stretch it and then uh, as you can see I'm just making it so that the uh, sort of the wings represent the legs on the uh, Chelsea badge so then I go and change and find the I think it's the follow through it's a uh, name on the actual emblem I'm oh, sorry on the actual black ops 2 emblem finder thing and that's going to be the staff uh, originally what I did here is found the crossbones here and you can actually um, leave out the crossbones as a recommendation this could be uh, that you could leave out the crossbones and actually add in that hollow circle uh, at the top of the staff to um, sort of uh, make it more accurate in comparison to the actual Chelsea logo but that sort of helps I do add this uh, head bit here which is uh, I can't remember what its name on the actual um, on Black Ops what they list, listed it as but here I go and get the curved line and make it um, red and that's going to be sort of the tongue and I do go and edit that to make it slightly bigger because it wasn't very visible when I actually tried this out on my gun so uh, one thing I do with all these emblems I do go and try them out on the guns to see how they look uh, I get the half mustache and uh, edit about uh, sort of stretch it with the scaling here and uh, that's because I knew that originally it's not going to look good if I just um, went on fixed scaling and just increased the size it wouldn't look at all good it sort of uh, look a bit too wide and that's not how it looks on the actual Chelsea logo and um, go and change the tongue here make it a bit bigger as I said before but uh, we're going to go down here now and add in the circle and that's for the footballs that are on either side and then I think I believe underneath it is the uh, flowers so Hopefully this helps you out uh, to the subscriber who asked for the Chelsea as well as uh, Chelsea badge, as well as those who support Chelsea out there and those who just want to see the badge in total. And uh, you see, I got add an EMP here for the flowery bit. Just gonna go check. Uh, this one thing I do is make sure the color is the same. So as you can see up there, it is now the same. So I go and just uh, um, put it on top of it and then just remove it over. So uh, if you do have any more recommendations, guys, uh, I have got a think three more that I need to do now I'm gonna start working on them but that's all the Chelsea badge uh, wrapped up there hopefully you did enjoy it uh, if you did enjoy this episode please leave a like and subscribe so it, it lets me know if you guys did enjoy that and uh, this has been AVJV Gaming I'll get a few more out this week